friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 20th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes. Having a look here, the last 48 hours on our sun, pretty active as we had a large plasma filament in the northern hemisphere. Shortly thereafter, one in the southern hemisphere as well. We're looking at the M-class solar flare that erupted yesterday. And a couple more C-class solar flares. Looking at the last two days of imagery, this is cresting for an incoming position. Watch the plasma filament take off from our sun on the left-hand side there. Looking at the outgoing positions. Very active small sunspot region there, firing away and turning away. Yet another CME is on its way as well. So our sun during solar cycle 25 going through quite some changes already. Very complex changes on our sun. Large coronal hole right now, earth facing and active sunspot regions. As NASA was predicting high sunspot count we are above predicted values already for solar cycle 25. Having a look here, this is the last four days of imagery showing both plasma filaments taking off one from the northern hemisphere and one from the southern. Looking at multi-spectrum, you can see those plasma filaments, dark lined region in the northern hemisphere, and the other one on the left-hand side beside the large coronal hole, which is that blackened region on the sun right there. And right now we're sitting at an active interrupting 48 volcanoes. If you haven't seen the latest update, please check it out right here. Leave the link. And as well, we'll be in the comments section showing all of this glorious imagery from our sun as we are enduring and embarking upon solar cycle 25. On the verge of grand solar minimum, which has been talked about a few times on this channel, but not really focused on. But theoretically speaking, based on the sunspot numbers that have been collected throughout time, we could be going through a cycle in which we experienced back in the 1800s, which was our last known mini ice age. This is Lasco 2 showing all of Earth's energy and the most latest CMEs coming out on November 20th. Amazing imagery and amazing times to be alive. Grateful to have you all watching. And as well, following along with daily events worldwide. Keeping humanity aware and prepared with earthquake updates, space weather updates, and as well, world weather. As right now, we are breaking records across eastern Canada and northeastern United States for snow totals. And as well, extreme cold temperatures, minus 15 today with the wind chill. Having a look at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the most recent CME taking off from our sun, set to enhance the already incoming coronal hole wind stream. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 411 kilometers per second right now. It's been very sporadic throughout the last two days as you can see by this telemetry. Now the pressure is on as things have changed with our magnetosphere ahead of this coronal hole wind stream. The pressure is starting to build around our planet. This is our magnetosphere cut planes for pressure. And we're seeing an interesting uptick in earthquakes over the past 48 hours as well as noted in yesterday's video and will be noted at the end of this video. Showing here the sunspot number progression since the beginning of time. 
Now, this is where we're at right now, 2020. Predicted values are just above what we're at right now. But it is not expected to go any higher than this region here. Now, if we go back to the early 1700s when sunspot numbers started to be recorded, in the 1800s we had our last mini ice age and it is right around the same number of sunspots predicted here by NASA for this coming decade. Is that a coincidence? We shall see. Solar cycle 25 already ramping up, keeping us on our toes. Let's have a look at earthquakes across the world, give you an update. As most recently, we did see a 5.5 earthquake in Fry, Greece at a 74 kilometer depth. And there's been quite a bit of activity through the region. 4.7 here in central Italy, 4.3 Greece, and as well a 4.1 here in northern Algeria on the African continent. We don't see earthquakes there often, definitely notable region. Recent earthquake today, Farquhar, Afghanistan, as well today, Taiwan, Yilan, Taiwan, seeing a 5.1. Sizable earthquakes here, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. As this was a quiet region yesterday, seeing an uptick here today, 5.1 Kepang, Indonesia. As well, we saw a couple deep earthquakes here in Fiji. 4.5 at 548 kilometer depth. 4.6s ranging all the way up to the 4.5. Activity coming back to Japan today as well. 4.9, 4.5. Minor activity continuing across Alaska and no notable major earthquakes across the North American plate. South American plate, increased activity here. 5.0 in Argentina. And as well notable there, Scotia plate and West Chile Rise. Hope you enjoyed today's update. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. You get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.